So having looked at all the different cases that we can be presented with when it comes to second order differential equations, let's now have a good an exam question and look at the thought process that you should go through when deciding which path to follow. So it says find the general solution of the differential equation uh, and it's d2y by dx squared plus 2dy by dx plus 10y equals that. So the first thing we should always do is solve the auxiliary equation to find the complementary function. So I think this is what a good answer should look like. So I've got the complementary function. So solving your auxiliary equation now, m squared plus 2m plus 10 equals 0. And then m plus both plus. And I can see here that it doesn't factorize. So I'm going to have to use the quadratic solver on my calculator or the quadratic formula. Truth be told, I think working-wise, you should do both. You should show every step of working, but then you can blag it a bit by putting in the calculator. So minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared minus 4, 1, 10 over 2 lots of 1. And that's what m equals. So m equals that equals and let's put it in the calculator so equation solver it's a polynomial of degree 2 and we've got 1m squared 2m plus 10 so minus 1 plus or minus 3i minus 1 plus or minus 3i now when the complex roots this is our alpha and this number here is our beta so the general form of the solution when the roots are complex is e to the alpha x then we've got a sine of beta x plus b cos of beta x now we'll prove that in a previous video so if this is all seeming new to you go back to the other videos i've done on uh, second order differential equations there are lots of them explaining exactly why this is the case uh, otherwise let's keep going so therefore the complementary function is so e to the minus 1x so e to the minus x and then we've got sine of 3x times a constant a plus b cos of the imaginary part times x where a and b can be complex numbers. Right, so now that we've got the complementary function, let's now go ahead and look at the particular integral. So that was the complementary function. Now subheading pi for particular integral. Again, just let the examiner know exactly what you're working out and when. It makes it much easier to get the marks. And we know that because we've got cos x as being the f of x on the right-hand side, the particular integral has the form and it's lambda sine x plus mu cos x and again that's just something to learn if you don't know why that is go back to our previous video uh, and just have a look right so particular integral is y equals that so we're going to sum it back in now to find the values of lambda and mu so dy by dx is equal to lambda cos x minus mu sine x and d2y by dx squared is equal to minus lambda sine x minus mu cos x so now summing that into the original equation i.e this one here we'll be able to find the values of lambda and mu so we've got d2y by dx squared so we've got lambda minus lambda sine x minus mu cos x plus 2 lots of dy by dx, which was lambda cos x minus mu sine x. Then plus 10y, so plus 10 lots of lambda sine x plus mu cos x. And we know that the right-hand side is equal to 85 cos x. So let's now try and multiply that out and find out what uh, lambda and mu are by comparing coefficients. So the next line we've got uh, minus lambda sine x 
minus mu cos x and multiplying these brackets out we get plus 2 lambda cos x minus 2 mu sine x plus 10 lambda sine x plus 10 mu cos x equals 85 cos x so now let's get all the sine x's in one place so i get sine x and the coefficient of that i get minus lambda minus 2 mu plus 10 lambda and then the cos x's the coefficient of those are minus mu plus 2 lambda and then we've got plus 10 mu equals 85 cos x and just one last simplification so i get sine x times and here we've got 9 lambda minus 2 mu plus cos x and here we've got 9 mu plus 2 lambda equals 85 cos x so we've got some simultaneous equations to solve now because the coefficient of sine x on the left hand side is 9 lambda minus 2 mu so 9 lambda minus 2 mu which is equal to the coefficient of sine x on the right hand side which is 0 then looking at cos x we get 9 mu plus 2 lambda so 9 mu plus 2 lambda equals 85 and no messing about straight in the quadratic straight in the simultaneous equation solver on our calculator simultaneous equation number of unknowns is 2 so 9x minus 2y equals 0 oh, infinite solution i've pressed the wrong button there and then second one 2 lambda plus 9 mu is 85 so we get that x or lambda equals 2 And that mu equals 9. Therefore, the final answer is y equals, and this was our particular integral, lambda sine x plus mu cos x. So lambda sine x plus mu cos x. And then plus our complementary function, which was e to the minus x. And it was a sine of 3x plus b cos of 3x. So that's it solved. So if you want to go back to the original videos that I did on this, the tutorial videos, might be worth a look if this seemed a bit difficult because I do explain why these are the solutions right from first principles. So it is worth a watch. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And to find out more about our Skype tuition and revision courses, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.